Hello YouTubers, Tom back again. I uh, hope you've been keeping well. Um, back with another review uh, and back outside again. Uh, the way I see it, why, why be indoors when you can be outdoors, especially when it's nice. So today um, I thought I'd review another one from Lubin. Uh and this one is Itasca. Um, on the ball, it's Le Vetiver de Lubin, and I know they do another another fragrance called Le Vetiver I've seen. I uh, haven't figured out if it's the same one, so check it out. But this one's a Tasca, even though the ball says Le Vetiver. Um, I love the bottles from Lubin as a whole. They're so artistic and unique um, in a classy way. Um, if you had a, a display of... Uh, creeds or anything else it can be a safe elegant creed it can be I won't say a tacky but um, designers um, and then you see these your eye just gets drawn to them immediately um, between the uh, the writing um, it's all like not being done in capitals makes you pay attention to how it's written and how it's presented um, you just want to see what the hell's going on um, this one is uh, so you got Le Vetiver uh, de Lubin in, in raised lettering uh, with a sort of a bronze enameling to the back um, and and the, the letters with a, a nice wooden cap um, so presentation is lovely um, so uh, the scent itself is sort of um, ambered conifers with um, with sort of citrusy overtones. Um, kind of gives me a, a bit of a Mediterranean feel, but I know that the writing is um, is all about the Mississippi River and the United States and so on. I've, I've written it here, and I kind of get that. It's a good picture for what this smells like. I've written it down. It's they say Mississippi River finds its headwaters at Lake Itasca in the heart of Minnesota. Uh, Itasca is reminiscent of the forests uh, covering this American landscape. Um, and I do get this outdoorsy feeling, um, maybe because of the write-up. Um, uh, I do get this sort of, maybe a little bit over-exaggerated um, Panavision doctored uh, seen with a an accentuated um sort of orange sky and some guy romantically goes for a, a walk uh in the woods but you see um sort of a river and the sky so for me it sort of um starts a little bit earlier in the afternoon when the the sun uh is up on on first spray, the initial blast is a little bit messy. Everything's just coming at you at once. You've got that sweet amber with a bit of spice and the citruses being a little bit better. It kind of gives me a little bit of um, reminds me of the drink Fanta, um, but that kind of quickly goes away um, and gets a bit more definition. So it, once it calms down. Um, you get the um, the citruses, um, which give the, the the sky a bit more um, oomph, and it's a it's a lot brighter, um, and give the the whole composition a bit more of a, a sunny disposition. Um, and uh, if we continue with this metaphor, you still get the sort of uh, the vetiver and juniper cedar wood kind of fill the the background in but the citruses and the grapefruit uh which are also bitter um give that bright sunny feeling so it never gets too um spicy and vetivery and heavy um which it could very easily do um and it's it doesn't have a top or middle or a base it's a little bit kind of a, a little bit linear, you kind of see where it's going from the off. Um, and um, 
to continue with the walk. Um, the, the citruses obviously died down. Throughout all of this scent, um, a big player is pine. Um, I think it's uh, got a lot of other stuff going on that don't compete with it that complement it very well. So a lot of people that normally probably don't like pine would actually like this, but it's not a safe blind buy. Okay, so continuing with the walk, as the citruses and the, the grapefruit die down, the, um, the the background becomes a foreground, the, the spices get a bit more, you find you get more of the, the vetiver and the, and the cedarwood and the, the juniper. Then the pine, which can smell a little bit lemony, kind of fills the role of the citruses and uh, stops the scent becoming too heavy and spicy and, and still give that Mediterranean for me, I know it's Minnesota, feel about it. Um, and it's just that the amber amps up, um, which for me kind of bring the, the scent from uh, an early afternoon, you've been out and slowly the sun's setting to this amazing sort of orange color um, it's not heavy, um, but it is sweeter. Um, so the temperature drops, everything becomes a little bit more still, um, and you can just enjoy it. Like a lot of Lubans, the um, the projection isn't isn't amazing. Um, it's a, just a good, safe scent bubble. Um, which, with the type of scents they do often, it's not what you want. There are a couple that I actually would have liked, but it doesn't seem to be a Luban's thing. So, projection isn't big. Um, the longevity is good, though, so that's all right. Um, uh, I think it's a really nice work scent. Um, it's classy. It's um, not... Uh, not a safe blind buy, but um, especially not with the pine because it can give people that ever so slight dated feeling. I don't think this is dated, I think it's a nice classic, but it's just um, a caution. Um, I actually seemingly quite like pine. Um, up close, it's a little bit spicier in the air and a bit far away. You do get that odd minty feeling come across like a breeze and it's actually quite nice reminds me a little bit of um, vetiver from uh, L'Occitane just uh, that's a candy minty vetiver um, this is just a more grown up ballsy version of it um, so yeah as I said really nice for work um, suit I can really see it as uh, nice trousers collared shirt no jacket just a little bit more casual because it's got more going on it might not be as um, crisp and clean if you know what I mean um, so check it out if you're looking for um, for something a bit different I um, uh, hope you liked it rate comment subscribe let me know what you thought um, and uh, and I'll see you soon